This is Rahul Magan here is the Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP. And today we would be covering a very dedicated video again on a very beautiful topic which is coming in the market which is MIFID second algorithmic trading. As you very well understand that the regulatory landscape is all set to change and regulatory landscape is changing effective 2018 precisely speaking 3rd January 2018 when the entire Europe will give a welcome to what is known as MIFID second which is market in financial instruments directive second. This MIFID second is going to play a very important role as far as the European investment banks, uh, investment houses, uh, hardcore prop desk, brokers, interbank dealers and on dealers, PPPs, uh, platform players, all these are concerned. Today, today we are going to talk about a very important topic which is algorithmic trading from the perspective of MIFID second. As you very well understand that you know uh, algorithmic trading is a part of our life now because we are not in 90, we are not in 2005 when it was, I am not saying it was first started. In 1999, 1990 when the world welcomed ECN, Electronic Communication Networks and in 2005 when the world first get to know that we could write algorithm we could write algos who can themselves decide that this is how to trade when to trade why not to trade and so today we are living in very interesting time henceforth the writers of the mifid second those who have taken this to one level higher from mifid one they need to understand few things about uh, algo second this video is is a personal perception of of, of it's a personal perception of Treasury Consulting LLP that how we think what MIFID second should be as far as the algo trading is concerned. But before that, let me give you a small introduction of the algo trading. Although we already had a word about algo trading, uh, we already had a word about one of the subsets of algo trading, which is HFT, high frequency trading. In case of an algo trading, we, in case of an algo trading, we need to understand that it is nothing but a written algo like machine learning which is python which makes sure that a respective order or a respective asset class this could be equity it could be currency it could be it could be equity it could be currency it could be your bond futures it could be crude futures it could be anything because now the list is endless they started with the equities but now they are almost every asset class almost every asset class they are getting traded by the algos I'm not saying that algos. Uh, I'm not saying that algos will make sure that everything will happen on time, or algos will make sure that things are moving in the right direction. No, algos sometimes win also, sometimes lose also. Because what is algo? Algo is a written code, which is back tested, of course. But that doesn't mean that the person who wrote the code he has taken everything into consideration. But we are here talking about how MIFID second will put a cap as far as the algorithmic trading or high frequency trading is concerned. Now let's take a simple example here. MIFID second is going to be impact the following players in Europe. Example, banks, financial institutions, brokers, investment houses, platform desk, managed traders, uh, platform traders and one I forgot which is CTA which is Commodity Trading Advisors shortly known as Managed Futures. So I repeat, we have banks, financial institutions and till CTAs. They are taking position everywhere. For a minute we forget that we are, we are here talking about the algo trading but they are taking positions everywhere. Example, they are taking position in forward, options, spots, uh, spot, spot, near term spot, far spots, equities, commodities, strategies, payoffs, swaps, bond, BG, SBLC. This is trade finance. Bank guarantee, standby letter of credit, this is MTN and LTN, which is medium term note and longer tenor note. They are taking position everywhere. Now, we are here strictly restricting ourselves to the MIFID second high frequency trading. We very well understand that PPP desk took a good position in the ALGO trading. Uh, CTAs are, take, are taking a good position in the, in the ALGO trading and they are connecting with the high computers, high speed net, optic fibers, co-location servers the almost zero almost zero latency factor and there are multiple things but we need to understand that now they need to categorize themselves they, 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 they need to see that where they exactly stand as far as the MIFID second is concerned so one way of going is that they would continue to do what they are doing and if things would uh, happen in a negative way then of course there is a penalty and then they will move on 
Another thing is that they need to change their business model. Now, as far as changing their business model is concerned, they, we need to understand that they basically are into these four or five uh, trading, uh, four or five platforms where they could be, as far as the Mifid second is concerned. Example, regulated market, multilateral trading platforms, organized trading facilities, broker dealing system, and interbank broker dealing. Now, they are actually be here because they cannot be here. The regulated market are not a good supporter. For example, look at say Indian stock exchanges, Sensex, say Euroclear, say a lot of other stuff, Frankfurt stock exchange, Luxembourg stock exchange, we have a lot of stock exchanges. You do not have uh, high frequency trading in the stock exchanges. So it's not like that a Frankfurt stock exchange <laughs> is having a desk which is a high frequency trading desk, right? It's not like that. So they say, say do not have that. So basically this is gone. Here comes the multilateral trading platforms. Multilateral trading platforms also not a very good supporter of Helio trading because actually they are nothing but a platform which is provided by the feeders. I'm not saying that the feeders are the only only provider of the multilateral trading platform, but majority of the transaction is happening on the feeders. Example, Bloomberg multilateral trading platform, EMSX, Reuters multilateral trade, uh, Reuters MTF. So globally, the financial reference data points or financial reference data providers are 90-95% businesses in the hands of either Forms and Reuters or Bloomberg or together. So they are actually the source of MTFs and they have their own MTFs in place, precisely speaking. So here they are also gone. They left with here, organized trading facilities. Before moving to OTFs, we need to understand that the difference between OTF and MTF. There is a very hairline difference between OTF and MTF. Example, this is the similar situation like we have in case of OMS and EMS. OMS stands for order management system and EMS stands for execution management system. This is a, almost a similar difference which they have. Now, what is the difference which they exactly we have in that case is this covers everything. As far as the MIFID second is concerned, this covers everything, equities, non-equities, bond, debentures, commodity, currencies, derivative, bond futures, and emission derivative, structured product. So would this, but the only, only point of conflict or the only point of differentiation is that this is not desertion based. However, this is desertion based. So you have this, which is a non-desertion based, and you have this, which is a desertion based. When it comes to the broker dealing systems, we are talking about the I bankers. When it comes to the interbank broker dealing systems, we are talking about how the hedge funds play with each other. Example, PIMCO would like to have an ergo trading or they would they are speaking with some other hedge funds in the US market. Being PIMCO is the largest, not the largest, but amongst the best bond players we have in this globe. If I'm not wrong, they are managing $1.6 trillion of the derivatives every day, every day, which is not a small amount, right? So they are only in the OTFs. But algorithmic trading is going to be restricted in MIFID second. Restricted in MIFID second because MIFID second, first of all, do not permit them in RM. So it is gone. MTF, it is gone. Broker dealing system, interbank broker dealing system is there, but how many? They are predominantly either controlled by the best I bankers like Goldman Sachs, Credit Suisse, JP Morgan Chase, UBS, Bank of America, and all. Or they are either controlled by the hedge funds. So they are there, but here the MIFID second requirement is pretty clear. In algorithmic trading, no prop capital is going to be utilized. Now we are gone. If no prop capital is going to be utilized, but algorithmic one of the participants of the algorithmic trading is a proprietary or a independent or an individual player. So if tomorrow Treasury Consulting LLP will set up a shop or a or shop stands for a subsidiary in Luxembourg, I cannot participate in the algo trading because I am an independent company. I'm not a hedge fund. I'm not an I banker. I'm an independent company with half my prop capital and that prop capital cannot be possible. Alternatively, they have also said that the interbank, the broker dealing system and the interbank broker dealing system having prop capital of the I bankers. So example, Goldman Sachs is a big is, is, is a big bank amongst the largest bank we have in the globe. 
if Goldman Sachs would be having, uh, they have their dedicated I banking, uh, fixed income unit, I banking unit, trading unit, currencies, company, you just name them and they have everything. So if Goldman Sachs is trying to utilize the money of the investor in algo trading, that again cannot possible. Although it is still not possible because of the Volcker. But where is Volcker? Volcker is only in the US. So in American ter territories, Volcker supply. But we know that the practical, how things are practically different, how, how things are practically different than what we have on the ground. Uh, how things are theoretically different than what we have on the ground. On the ground, Volcker is only till the American limits. But outside that, you, 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 you would have outside limit as well. Right? Here comes a key differentiating, here comes a key differentiating factor. As far as, uh, you know, this uh, algo trading is concerned under Mifid second. Plus, theoretically speaking or the law wise speaking, the Mifid second is very, very rigid as far as alternative trading platforms are concerned. Dark pools are concerned. Private placement pool desk is concerned. Prop desk are concerned. OTF having no, which is uh, broker dealing system and, 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 and interbank de dealing system controls. I would like to ask one simple question. If we try and kill innovation, then we are gone. Rather than killing the market, you should you should correct the market. So you are saying that we do not support alternative trading platforms or alternative trading systems. That is perfectly incorrect because I appreciate that dark pools are now moving in a negative direction. The recent WannaCry that has happened, that was also not correct. It was also not correct. That was a kind of a dark pool when somebody has asked us some few bitcoins in the ransom which you needed to pay in a dark pool. So you don't know who is actually your final recipient. But dark pools are always not incorrect. They are the private placement platform desk whereby you don't want something to be come in the market. You want something to be happen at a faster note. So if I'm a high frequency trader, I believe that this, uh, you know, CME, uh, which is uh, Chicago Mercantile Exchange, some commodity futures are going and I had to have an arbitrage opportunity in that. An arbitrage opportunity do not wait for seconds, it do not wait for minutes, it do not, it, it actually do not wait for days, it just wait for few minutes or sometimes few seconds. And this is exactly where the algo trading and the high frequency trading come into fray. So you mean to say that if I am a European uh, hedge fund trader, high frequency trader and I do see an opportunity in a Chicago mercantile exchange, you mean to say that I cannot participate by dark pools? I'm not saying that dark pools are doing whatever they are doing is ethically correct. This is not ethically correct at least, but that doesn't mean that whatever they are doing, everything is, is, is unethical in nature. So my personal perception is that Mifid second on the ground is a wonderful, wonderful thing and they are going to be have a very good impact on the market at least as far as the big european banks are concerned like bnp paribas your hsbc your standard chartered bank and all these are uh, are going to have some amount of change or maybe a big amount of change but at the same time it is a very rigid law as far as the algorithmic trading is concerned high frequency trading is already is down so there was a time when roughly 45% of the American equities were traded by a high frequency trader and now this has reduced to less than 5%. And if, and if we compare the counterparts in Europe, that has reduced to 9%. I don't see that after Mifid second considering these rigid laws, we would be able to take their future forward. It's not quite possible. It's not quite possible. So it's 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 something which Mifid second or the or the regulatory of the Mifid second they have to think about, which is ESMA, European Security Market Association, Market Authority. They need to associate. They need to think about that. Algorithmic trading and high frequency trading is a wonderful stuff. Mifid second is also is a wonderful stuff, but that doesn't mean that you are going to take this uh, on a lighter note. This is from our side. We do see a lot of change when it comes to Mifid second, but as far as the high frequency trading is concerned, I think Mifid second need to change. We cannot kill the future of high frequency trading. And this is what we are here about. Of course, soon we are coming a lot of videos about high frequency trading and Treasury Consulting LLP has already entered into the high frequency trading. And we sooner or later, sooner or later in the sense like within one month of time, on all the big platforms of US like uh, without mentioning IQ brokers and others, we will start uh, writing our own codes, which of course is going to be back tested. We'll start writing that. 
we will surely be launching about the training programs as well as the high frequency trading is concerned. In case you do have any requirement, of course, we would list that on our fixed income platform which is on the way. In case you do have any requirement, don't forget my contact is www.tragicconsulting.in while my mobile is 9899242978 my Skype ID is Rahul5327 while my email is rahul.magan at the rate treasury consulting which is T it is treasury consulting dot in thank you very much and there are a lot of strategic changes which are happening in the technological space in my personal opinion banking is changing very fast and it would continue to change very fast soon we would launching a video wherein we will link mx3 with algo trading platforms thank you very much and have a wonderful time